G'day guys, welcome back to this week's DOS Vlogs. Um, I was sick last week, so I apologise that the Jared Roughhead one wasn't out on Wednesday. It came out on Friday. I was battling to try and get that done. I had the shivers, I had the shakes, I had this howling cough. It was a bit of a nightmare, but um, I appreciate everyone's patience with that. I have a plethora of clips to show you from the last few weeks. The first I wanna show you is myself and Connor. We hosted a trivia night a couple of weeks ago for Spotify. There was this big Spotify do. There was tables galore filled with people. It felt like there was 500,000 people in the room. Myself and Connor hosted a round of trivia. We were the special guests, which, you know, I can't believe we were the special guests, but we'll take it. I was super, super nervous to go up on stage. Connor really couldn't care less because he does this every every it's week. like a stand-up video or photo? Yeah. Oh, you're about. Do you want a photo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roggie. I've turned out. You in, Rog? Oh, There's absolutely. And I think we've just rocked up to the MCG and they're just queuing up to get into the MCC for Baggers V Talks. The vibes, Rod. The vibes are electric, the adrenaline is fun, and you can just tell everyone in the room is looking over going, are they the boys from Goes or what? And yes. We're backstage and we're about to go on. 200. Into a crowd of people. And it's just going to be the biggest clinic in the state. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Unbelievable turnout, unbelievable night. I sort of pinch myself that myself and Connor get to do things like this at the moment. It's um, it's very, very cool. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I caught up with the 9 to 5 boys because I did the 9 to 5 fitness podcast. I think that's coming out in a couple of weeks time, but uh, check out a couple of vlog clips from my day up with the 9 to 5 boys. Yeah, how are you feeling about the body? Oh man, I'm so nervous. This is kind of like the first one. I really hate speaking, really hate having the camera on me, so <laughs> like, I'm pretty nervous, mate. <laughs> It's a good setup. Yeah, yeah. Real ghetto. Everyone who's been in here says that we've done a really good job of making it look like quite big from TikTok yeah. and like the footage. Mate, but you look over there, it's tiny. We just did it. We're literally there. in the trenches here. Yeah. yeah. It, it, is, it is deceiving a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like we're in a huge room, but we're not. We're in the trap house. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. Literally, I get shot. That's good. So. so we're using the GoPro for the first time ever as a secondary camera. Yeah. Films in 5.3K. We're just running on 4K and it's just going to get Kados's mug on it the whole time. Mm, that's beautiful. Job. Jeez, you could, Gabby, you just about put it on the table. Body done and dusted, lads. There we go. Mate, you killed it. You did really well. I was just saying. I was, just <laughs> I was saying on the podcast, it's nice to have someone like Kados who has, oh, has their own podcast. Um, because as a host, you don't actually have to work as hard then. Like if we have people on who need- Like one like, word answers. Yeah, one yeah. word answers, then it's like, it's such a long- To be fair, we haven't had anyone like yeah. recently. That's yeah, no, that's like true. That, to be fair, like, yeah. Yeah, we like, spoil the guests. Shit, mate, yeah, they'll um, be on after. Before. No, but this is the vlog. Oh, this is the vlog. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One step ahead of you, brother. Yeah. You can yeah. do whatever you want with it. But yeah, no, you, it was good. You killed it. Um, it was fun. Thank you very much. This is all 1%, bro. What the? Clutch. Oh, mate, the we, just, we came clutch. in clutch. <laughs> Hello, Connor. Hello, Connor. Hello, Connor. On the weekly vlog. Hello, Kados. The man's back. I'm back on it. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm very good. About to pull off a trick shot and amaze some people. We love content. Yeah, we love it, don't we? So, um, yeah, me and Miles will be linking up to get a trick shot done and let's see what we can produce. Are you in favor of the wet and dodgy conditions? Um, it doesn't help, but uh, we back ourselves. We back the skills. Um, you gotta get it done. We're, we're system based. We're system based, you trust the system. <laughs> oh, the Arthur seat challenger man himself, 2018. Yeah. Got rid of the uh, get the pipes out. Got rid of the old Casey Gansey. <laughs> <laughs> in case I get in trouble. <laughs> Louis has the vibes. Has the mind body. Mate, vibes style. are good. Didn't kick so well in the goal kicking challenge, the mini one we did. So that's did, right. Did well on, on, on my one a couple of weeks ago. Went alright. Happy with it. I'm keen for a bit of redemption. I think you'd be keen for a bit of redemption. To be See, honest. I reckon you have redemption in the kit bag. I reckon there's some room for you to go. I'm not sure. Oh, well, you mate, mate, maybe mate, what do you? You just need to kick one and you'll be doing better. <laughs> it's the ones. It's the ones from like. 
If you, yeah, if you miss the boundary ones, that's okay. Yeah. But those ones sort of in front. No excuses. I'm objectively like a shocking kick, so I don't know. I was, I was happy to see if you go through on, on the Golden Challenge, but I'm very keen to do more contact tent with the boys. Um, everyone should let us know what they want to see. And then, yeah, I was home all of last week. Um, I had to do the potty from home and I had to do essentially no content because I was a sick, sick man. The sickest I was was on Thursday night and Friday, which is when the D's played. So um, I couldn't stream and I couldn't go to the game and I was, I was feeling horrible, like feeling properly horrible. So I was sitting in bed with my D scarf and my D's top on, whipping home the lads and any time I go to support, I would just start coughing this horrendous stuff out of my lungs. Oh, I feel like absolute shit. What a great win by the Ds. Oh, <laughs> what a performance. Great win against top of the table Lions. And we are back on track, baby. <laughs> just wrapped up the podcast at home. Um, me and Rog used to do these all the time uh, when we were doing the Back Pocket Plugger podcast. So we had a little bit of um, of practice to do it. So the chemistry was on, but one of my favourite episodes, to be honest. We didn't have a guest and we sort of ploughed through. Um, yeah, so I was very stoked with how it came out from my end. So hopefully I can send all this stuff off and it can get put together um, up a producer for me. But I'll be back next week. I was... I think this extra day is actually really handy. G'day guys, welcome back to Goes All Right. A little bit of a different episode. We've got episode 11, uh, except myself and Connor Rogers, my co-host, are a, a fair way apart from each other. Roggie, how are you, mate? Never better, mate. I always knew that it would come down to this. Um, I started off sort of on the last 10 minutes of the podcast, managed to work my way <laughs> up to the top with you, and now all of a sudden I'm the lone man in the, in the chair. I'll tell you what, boss man Dylan Buckley, the man with unlimited friendships, <laughs> would be looking over his shoulder because at this trajectory, it's only two months till I'm uh, running producing, I feel. Podcast done and dusted. A um, little bit easier, you know. Bailey's in Bali, Roddy's up in Melbourne, and I've smashed it out at home. Um, I'm probably a day away from being not sick, uh, which is a good feeling because on Thursday and Friday, I was really battling the elements. But no, happy days, we're on the mend, and um, I'm really excited for a good week. 